friends, welcome back again. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a chicken custom served with sticky rice and trimmed green beans. So come and let's cook together. For the uh, chicken custom, you will need the following ingredients. Chicken breast, plain flour, eggs, panko breadcrumb, and for the curry sauce, you will need oil, salt, curry powder, plain flour, brown sugar, soy sauce, honey or golden syrup, garlic, onion, and chicken stock. We're gonna get our chicken breast and we're gonna pan it with flour, eggs, and um, breadcrumb. So for that, I'm gonna take a little bit of salt and put it into my flour. It just give you a bit extra flavor. Same detail with the breadcrumb you can use I'm using the pink salt you can use a normal white salt if you have so now I'm gonna take a chicken breast dip it into a flour basically just dusting the chicken breast with a flour shake off any excess flour straight into the eggs you can use your other hands And then you put this into panko breadcrumb. The bread is ready. I put it into the plate. Carry on with the other breast as well. You take the breast into the flour. So as you can see, I've already prepped my chicken. It's time to uh, just shallow fry it and we're gonna shift that into the oven. If you don't have oven, uh, you can just deep fry it. So for that, I'm gonna turn the gas on and then put my pan over the heat. Into the pan, I'm gonna drop about three to four tablespoons of oil. So when the oil get heat up, we're gonna put our chicken breast into the pan. Now I'm gonna put the chicken breast into the oil. We're gonna cook this chicken breast on both sides about three to four minutes, then shift it into the hot oven. So as you can see, this is already nice and golden brown. I'm gonna flip it over and cook on the other side. You can see this breadcrumb is looking really lovely and nice and fluffy as well. I'm gonna cook this on the other side. So the chicken breast is um, nicely golden crispy on both sides. I'm gonna take out the pan and transfer into my baking tray. So I'm gonna get these breads into the oven on 175 degree on the bottom shelf. And let it cook. Do not forget to follow Journey with Chef Pokadi. While the chicken is getting cooked, I'm gonna quickly make our curry sauce to go with the chicken. So we're turning the gas on. Into that, I'm gonna drop two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So the oil is hot now. Into that, I'm gonna add one clove of garlic. We just cook this until it gets nice and brown otherwise if it's not cooked properly you will smell and you can taste the rawness into the garlic so into that i'm gonna add half 
finely diced onion. We will cook this for about two to three minutes. So the onions are sweating off. Into that, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of brown sugar. So we let this cook for another two minutes until it's get nicely caramelized. So the onions are nicely caramelized. Into that, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of curry powder. Cook this for further one minute. At this point, you will start um, uh, smelling the, the curry powder is getting cooked because the curry powder will start to release their smell. So now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of maida or plain flour. We give that a good stir. So once the flour is cooked, it will not take a long time. Now we're gonna add our chicken stock bit by bit until it's nice until it gives you a nice and smooth texture. Keep stirring it. At this point, make sure your uh, the heat of or the gas is on medium, low heat. Keep stirring until you get a nice smooth texture. Make sure you don't have any lumps into the sauce. I will add more. Keep stirring it again and it will automatically start to thicken it up. As you can see the curry sauce is nicely um, getting cooked and it's nicely thickening up as well. So I'm quickly gonna check the seasoning. Just need a little bit more salt. And stir. Now I'm gonna add just a touch of soy sauce just a little to give you more flavor and I don't have honey I'm gonna add golden syrup just a little touch to give you that little sweetness Let me stir it very well and there we have our curry sauce ready in minutes Way you can check if it's done so you basically what you do basically dip the spoon into the sauce and with your finger all you're doing is just checking the consistency so you can see it's nicely done and it's nicely um, nice thick consistency for the uh, chicken custard soup. time to check our chicken looks like it's done probe it and if you reach above 75 or 75 that means it's cooked so it's coming yep same detail with the other chicken breast nicely chopping it off and ready to put into our serving dish I'm going to transfer the chicken into my serving plate like so it's very optional you can put the sauce on top of the chicken if not you can leave the sauce on the side like so and I'm going to spread 
spring hold a few spring onions and there we have chicken katsu with green beans curry sauce and jasmine sticky rice So my plate is ready and served and um, everybody knows what happens after cooking so time to do our taste. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of chicken and my uh, sticky rice. As you can see they are looking really nice and sticky uh, with my curry sauce. I'm going to have a little bit of chicken, rice and dip it into my curry sauce, homemade curry sauce. A lovely dish. Um, the, the breadcrumb we have used really give you a nice texture, and the salt we added into the breadcrumb and fly just enhance the whole flavor. And the curry sauce, especially the homemade curry sauce, the, all the flavors into the curry sauce they are really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And also do not forget to share my videos with your friends and family. This is just a little request for myself to you. Please do share my video as much as you can. This gives me more motivation and encourages me to present more yummy recipes and more fitness videos like this. So please go onto my channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon button for these upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and join my journey with Chef Kota channel. Thank you.